Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the ADD, ADTQ and the array implementation of it. So now let's first look at the uh, QADT. Q has two major operations, the NQ and the DQ. So NQ means you have to enter um, enter from the back of the queue and DQ will remove from the front. So how about I'll try to show you something here. Let's see, assuming this, this is a waiting line, this is a person, this is a person, I'm horrible at the drawing. And uh, so this is a waiting line and here's uh, the person who provides the service. So here's a table, here's a table who provide the service, do something. And this is a waiting line. NQ means when a new person came into this queue, it will come this way, come at the end of the queue. So if I call it rare, this is the rare of the queue, this is the front of the queue, of the queue here. So you always enter here from the rear of the queue and you're the new rear here. This is the new rear here. And remove, you only remove the front. So this is a very typical first in, first out ADT. So unlike stack, it's last in, first out. Uh, this one is the first in, first out. So, so the remove operation always remove from the front. And uh, when you add something, you always add to the rear. So that's the idea of, of Q. And NQ means this operation, add to the end. DQ means this operation, remove from the front. So Q is used a lot in operating system implementation like uh, a queue for the printer and all the printing jobs, they enter the queue and the first one enter the queue, get removed, get served first, get printed first. Um, so that's a queue. Now let's think about the implementation. The first implementation we are going to look at is a array. So let's take a look at the array implementation. So I have an array here. Okay, I have an array here. And for Q, again, it's a position-based ADT, but we have two positions now. One position is the front of the queue, which you remove from, and another position is the rear of the queue, which you enter from. So that's the NQ, and DQ is removed from the front. So now let's see, for array implementation, if we say, how about I'll just randomly choose a friend and the end. So if I choose this guy to be the friend, this one to be the rear. Okay, so now let's see to NQ that will enter from the rear. So that will be this one. So the operation for NQ is easy. So you just say, okay, now this is a new rear. Okay, and now let's think about for DQ. For DQ, you're going to remove this one. Remove the first one. Remove this one, that requires the array to be shift up, and that's a huge performance penalty. You have to shift the the whole array up here. So that's not very good for DQ. Now let's consider another possibility. How about we say this is the rear and this is the front. Now let's see. If we want to NQ, we enter from the rear. When you enter from the rear, you have to shift everyone. And when you DQ, that's good. You just decrement of this, uh, decrement this front. So you see for array implementation, when you choose either end as a front or rear, it doesn't help you much. This one operation will require you to shift the array, and we really don't like shifting the array. So how about the other option? So people are thinking about something called a circular array. Now let's take a look at the idea of a circular array. Okay, now let's see. 
You might be thinking this isn't a circular array; still looks linear to you. Yeah, actually, there's no such thing as circular array. Circular array is just one kind of thinking. So now let's see.、Uh, how about I still say this is a friend, assuming I have three here, and I have four here, and、um, five here, and this is an end. This is a friend. This is the rear of the of the queue. Now let's think about the end queue. End queue means enter from the rear. So easy. So how about I want to end queue six here? End queue six here, and my rear now looks like this. My rear is here. Don't have that anymore. Real points here, and now think about the the DQ operation. If I want to DQ three, instead of shifting everything up, I say, why do I want to shift? I just increment my friend. So how about my friend will be here? So you see, that's a clever idea, because. Your queue is defined from the front to rear. So your queue right now is just four, five, six. Instead of shifting, you simply increment your front index. That's a very clever idea, actually. So now, how about you say I want to end queue again? So I enter seven here. End queue again. So now this is your rear, and I want to de queue again. So Then your friend is here, is five. So right now your current queue is five, six, and seven between front and the rear. And those ones they just garbage ignored because、uh, the front and the rear defined where is your queue. Now let's see. I want to enter eight now. Oh, we got trouble. We don't have. We don't have. This capacity for eight anymore, but that couldn't be true because you have a five elements array, and you only have three elements in the queue. Why I cannot enter eight? Then people think about, hey,、um, how about let's reuse that、uh, space occupied by my garbage? So I'm going to wrap around. The array and put eight right here. So that's the idea of a circular array. So when we try to enter eight and Q eight here, we wrap around to this first available space that will be eight. And how do we know that wrap around? And how do we implement that that wrap around? Think about this. So the index for this one, this is zero, one, two, three, four. This will be four. Okay, that's the index is four, and when you four mod, okay, how about when we increment four, that will be five. So when we do five, five that's here. So you're out out outside of the boundary of the array. But how about we say five mod the capacity of the array, which is five. So this mod operation gave you back zero. So you come back here. So that's the idea of circular array, and how we implement it is just we take advantage of this modular operation. But of course, you don't want to overwrite some legal、um, data there. For example, if your friend is here, you you don't want to wrap around and. And、uh, overwrite that legal item in your queue. So before you do the end queue, you need to test: Am I full? Is this a full queue already? If you're not full, you you wrap around to that first element of the array and do your end queue operation. So that's the idea of circular array. Now let's take a look at the code. So let's take a look at the NQ operation. So your first test:、um, Do you have space? If you don't have space, you just say I cannot enter NQ anymore. Uh, uh, if you ever comes here, that means you still have space. So、uh, add to the rear, and then you increment your.、Uh, 
increment your rear index and the module uh, default capacity wrap around increment the size of your queue. And for DQ, you do similarly, you do the testing and then you return the uh, the first item in the array and in increment your friend. So that's how it goes. Thank you.